Good afternoon, everybody. I, uh, first of all, I want to welcome you to uh, Brockton City Hall. I want to recognize uh, the city clerk, Tim Cruz, who never misses one of these events. So thank you very much for being here. A lot of department heads are here. Uh, I want to thank uh, custodial staff for always setting the, this up, BCA for, for filming this. Uh, I want to thank uh, our friends from Bamsey uh, for being here as well today. So today is a solemn day um, on the 20th. Uh, outside of Bamsey, uh, myself and Suzanne McCormick attended the Remembrance Vigil where we were able to uh, hear some, some words and, and light some candles. So um, at that time we were told if the city could just hold off um, maybe a week. So that's why we're here today. The actual day is the 20th. Uh, but we are here today to, uh, first of all, remember um, and also honor those that have been uh, murdered, that have uh, faced violence and bigotry. Uh, as you know, the city of Brockton is, is truly a place where we do not uh, welcome or allow hate. Um, the majority of those targeted, this just this year alone, uh, in the transgender community uh, and the non-conforming community, um, at least 26 people have been murdered, at least. And we know the numbers are a lot higher, uh, but there's always misgendering um, mistakes in police reports and police records. So, um, you know, when we come together, um, the first thing is um, we come together as a community that is always inclusive, welcoming, supportive of those that live and work in our city of champions. So as mayor, I want to thank, uh, first of all, t -Corps, and I want to thank Bamsey. I want to thank uh, Emily O'Neill for being here. I want to thank Peter Evers, the CEO of, of Bamsey, uh, and, and Chase for, for, for everything that's done on a regular basis. But as mayor, I'd like to read the following into the record. Um, and I will present it to Emily on behalf of the city of Brockton um, to proudly bring back to Bamsey. Uh, Emily, if you'd like to, to join me up here. And thank you again for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Official mayoral proclamation, whereas the trans Transgender Day of Remembrance is observed in late November in recognition of the murder of Rita Hester in 1999 and serves to honor the memory of those who have perished because of anti-transgender prejudice and bigotry, whereas an ongoing epidemic of violence committed against transgender and gender non-conforming people uh, continues to increase, claiming the lives of many each year within our United States of America and across the globe. Whereas the city of Brockton strives to be an inclusive, welcoming community in which our residents and business owners not only take great pride in our diversity, but aim to provide safety, prosperity, equality, and hope for all that live and work in our fine city of champions. Whereas the human race must recognize the rights of all citizens and support all those uh, efforts to end all forms of prejudice, discrimination, and violence. Now therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim out of respect and honor, November 20th, 2023, in the city of Brockton as Transgender Day of Remembrance. And I respectfully and humbly urge all residents to join me in observing this day and every day to make sure that people are safe within our community, within our commonwealth, and within our country. I do sign and seal it today, the 27th day of November in the year 2023, and I'd, I'd like to give this uh, on behalf of the city to Emily O'Neill. At this time, I'm, I'm gonna have uh, Emily help us um, Again, we, we will always recognize uh, all, specs, uh, all aspects of people within our community. Uh, we will always continue to be uh, showcases of what's right, right? And I want to thank uh, Amir Phillips from the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion uh, for what he does every day in our city of champions. So thank you, Amir. Uh, and we, right now, we will we'll proudly uh, put the transgender flag up here at City Hall. So although this might have been a shorter version of some flag raising ceremonies, it's uh, probably one of the most important that we do every year at City Hall. So let's continue to uh, set the bar high. Let's continue to showcase why Brockton is called the City of Champions. And again, we will always honor and respect those that live within the confines or work within the confines of the City of Brockton. Thank you, God bless you all, and have a great day. Thank you.